Hello, this is uh, Dave Herman. Welcome to Daily Sketch. It is 11.49 in the morning still in Olympia, Washington at 3.21.2017. So March 21st, first day of spring. And we're going to work a little more on the penguins. So uh, I've got it open in Photoshop here. You can see that. Some emperor penguins. We'll do a little bit of work on them. Uh, let's enlarge that picture a little bit. So we'll go down to the magnifying glass. Make sure we're over here at the plus sign. Open this up a little bit. Like so. Okay. Now we're going to go to our brush. Double check these parameters. Uh, should have pen pressure checked in all these boxes. And transfer, same thing. Pen, pen pressure checked. Uh, airbrush and smoothing, fine. Now we pick some black and we're going to fill. So. We're in a 100% opacity and 100% filling power. We're laying down without too much pressure. Some various shades of black. Build out this head a little bit. So, and as always, trying to get something done in 10 minutes. So, if it cuts off, sorry about that, but it will cut off whenever it cuts off. And right now, we're keeping these shades in there to be like the textured uh, fur skin that they have. Kind of interesting, you know, penguin skin. Um, yeah. Then we're working it up into here, shaping this edge. Kind of smoothing it out a little bit along the edge. Okay. Kind of work that into here. And then uh, kind of some eye stuff. More beak. A little wrap around the gold area. The orange and gold and yellow of the beak. We're wrapping that around a little bit. Like so. And then we're going to do some more fill around the eye. It's a very light pressure, so we got some various of tones I'll come back and deal with later. But just kind of roughing that in. And then down here, the brow, it's going to be heavier. And uh, some shadowy areas. You know, do the circumference of the head and shape of the head, different. Areas are darker and lighter depending on reflected light from snow and sky. And then we're going to tighten it up a little bit in the back here. Because actually these, the gray part of their body comes up to this point in between those nice yin-yang yellow and orange marks on their head. Good name for it, the Emperor Penguin. I haven't uh, researched the name yet, but um, maybe it ties into the I Ching and Yin and Yang and the Supreme Ultimate. We don't know yet. Okay. So I'm going to save that just to be sure we got this much saved. And 
and we'll call it three so we can have the other one save instead of two remembering all this stuff is where I get lost a lot of times as an artist and the files end up being so many everywhere that I just have to trash them eventually or my whole machine will be filled up with art I actually got to drag it to a backup drive I need to get more into that these days let me have a sip of coffee while we're talking here <sighs> a little French press coffee with some rice milk and some Turkish honey Trader Joe's stuff and let's see here let's put some yellow in there so you can go right over it like I'm doing just so you can see that you know mistakes you know big deal million ways to fix your mistakes and actually it's all part of the creative process so you can call them whatever you want I just call it part of the creative process so I can go down here and switch these two squares turn one square to black and that allows me to toggle between them so if I want to fix an error like this or darken something as I'm looking at it or change I can do that and then I can toggle back into the yellow and add yellow here say like that we don't really care if we go out of the lines because you can fix all that so like that I would toggle back Smooth that out. And now my printer is magically turned on to do one of its processings. So we're stuck with that for a second. And the phone. Holy crap. Everything's gone wild in the middle of this video. I'm just going to leave it. I could start over with a new video, but you know what? I'm just not going to answer the world. I'm going to let it bother me in the background. And we're going to just go right on working because I can't duplicate what I just did exactly. And I kind of like what's happening. Remember, if you go out of that boundary like that, uh, you can just select with your eyedropper, let's say the background in the near area, and then you would go to your brush. You can see it's changed the square to that color, and then you can go right over it. You can be working on layers. You can do things a million different ways, depending on all the different skills you've developed when working in Photoshop. But don't fret over your errors. That's my point. And then you got that going, and so we can put a little bit into the beak. This will be developed much, much more over time. But I'm trying to uh, actually let's select orange, and I'll show you why. Now we can toggle between these two. So say we go to the yellow right here. Drop a little bit of that in the beak, and then come back with the orange down at the bottom like so and then a little white highlight maybe like so and then you know if you ever want to blur these things and mess around with that you have those options up here somewhere so like edit um, let me think about that for a minute color settings image uh, let's see mode adjustments there we go and Well, it's not coming to me right now off the bat because my head's full of a bunch of different things, but edit 
free transform, trans 